Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 6, aka the mid-season premiere, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the trailer that was just released for this episode. Also, we've got some new titles which we're going to be going over towards the end of the video. So there's a lot of stuff to break down. Obviously, this is not coming for a long time. Right now, we're on December 15th. Last night, we had The Flash and its mid-season finale, which was the final episode of Armageddon. That was a big deal because it's a big crossover and it's the concluding chapter. But I think what's maybe even more important is what's coming next. And this is because Eric Wallace, the showrunner, has teased for quite a long time that whatever would happen in Armageddon, yes, it would be contained to the five episodes, but it would set up the villains for the rest of the season. Apparently, we're having two villains and they are spawned right out of what has happened in Armageddon. And as you guys know, if you've watched all five episodes of Armageddon, it's pretty much all about timeline changes and time travel. And there's going to be some big repercussions from that. And so it seems that... But before we go any further, we have a sponsor for today's video. Thank you to Smart News for sponsoring this video. Smart News is an app that can be downloaded from the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. And when you have the app, you'll find that it has local news, national news, as well as local weather and local deals. While on Smart News, you will feel empowered while reading about all of these different issues as you read some of Smart News' quality content, which chooses over clickbait. And the app has over 1,000 trusted publishers. So if you like what you've heard today, please be sure to download Smart News using my link in the description below. But for now, let's go back into today's topic. And so it seems that this trailer is continuing that trend of talking about timeline changes as we flash back in the first shot to the season 7 finale. Now, this was the scene where you saw Barry go around in flash time and he kisses Iris and Iris enters flash time as well. And so it was like a really nice moment during the season seven finale. And if you guys remember, Joe was wearing like the cool hat and you had Bart and Nora there, Bart sang. And so it was like a renewal of their wedding vows. And so we go back to that scene and we get some more details on what actually happened because in the last couple of episodes since season eight has started, we've had references to Nora and Bart. Even last night, there was references to them showing up every once in a while, they keep on popping back up. So it's clear that they are time traveling all over the place and they're not very good at it, right? They're not very careful, like say someone like Jay Garrick or even Barry who is notoriously bad at, you know, not messing things up but he's still better than his kids as of right now because they haven't been like fully trained. But anyway, so we go back to that night and to that scene and we see like alternate scenes, which is probably where episode six is going to start off with. It will be like a flashback, you know, back six months or however long it's been in real time. And we go to this shot of Nora who hugs Barry and Barry says, I love you both, keep the future safe. And then that's obviously where they jump off to the future. We got this shot of Iris, she is smiling. And again, these are shots that I do not recognize. So I do think that, you know, they weren't used, although they filmed them at the time and maybe they were like, hmm, we could use this again while we have the actors here. So let's save it for episode six when Bart and Nora actually come back. So we have this shot right here of Barry and Bart who says, I'm gonna make you proud dad. And so that's at the point where they 100% speed off. But coming in 2022, again, this is not happening till March. So it's a very, very long way. But we will see the return of Bart and Nora West Allen in this episode. And so this is where things get interesting. So you can see this right here on the screen. This is a newspaper article from CC Daily. So not Iris's newspaper, but another newspaper. And it's at this point where Bart and Nora, they say, Oh my god, the whole timeline is in flux. And so this is where we're going to be dealing with the timeline changes. However, it doesn't seem like it's directly linked to Armageddon, although there's definite repercussions of Armageddon and Barry changing the timeline. It seems that Bart and Nora have messed it up again by themselves, separately from what Barry was doing in the Armageddon crossover. And so just looking at this newspaper article, let's read it out and see how it changes. And obviously this is in 2020, so CC High Junior awarded National Medal of Science, Iron Oxide Discovery Saves City Millions. 
and so this is just like a notable newspaper article in the archives. It then clicks over to another newspaper article which says Mayor Bellows Jr. resigns and corruption investigation. Then it continues on from there we have three or four more and this is very important. So officer killed after Zoom attacks CCPD Chief of Police Joe West spared. Now this is during 2016 so it was when Zoom was around and so this begs the question with the timeline being changed and with Bart and Nora popping back and forth in these different time periods, are we going to see the return of some old faces? Well the answer to that is definitely yes and we get a big teaser for one returning face later in the trailer. But in regards to Zoom in this article, could this be a thing? where Bart and Nora actually go to 2016 and they see Zoom and we get the return of Zoom, whether it's just like a CGI Zoom or not, it's definitely possible that they will be jumping back and forth and you will see these extremely important events that happen throughout time, but from another perspective, we've done this before, we had it in the 100th episode, we had Barry going back in time and even Nora was there and they got chased by Zoom, so it's not unprecedented for a big villain to return and them actually spying on them by going back in the past. So it's definitely been done before and it's nothing too crazy. But then we get another news report and this is from 2013 from the Central City Weekly News and the report reads, Hero Detective shot at jewelry heist. So this was, I believe, something in the past that actually happened. I could be wrong about that, but it does ring a bell. It's been a while since I watched season one, so I'm not entirely sure if Joe did get shot at this specific jewelry heist, but you can kind of presume that there is going to be some changes, and it seems a lot of this actually involves Joe because both of these last newspaper articles involve him, so I would presume something's going to go down with him in this episode if he is in the archives quite a lot. So here we get our first look at Bart and Nora West Allen who return. They're at a crime scene as you can tell by the yellow tape in the background. Bart is dressed up extremely smart. It seems like he's trying to maybe fit in. I don't know if he's trying to disguise himself as like, you know, some sort of scientist like Barry would dress up. I mean, Barry never dresses up this fancy, but I don't know. There is definitely a reason for him dressing up like this, but Nora is dressed up all normally and Bart seems to be smiling, so maybe they're looking at someone that they know. But they are here in the middle of the open, which pretty much tells you straight away, yeah, they're not very good at this time travel thing. They're not very careful because, you know, what we've been told in the past is, is best to be unnoticed if you're time traveling. So let's move on. We have this shot of Bart and Nora inside the Central City Museum. Obviously this is a set that we've seen many times before and it regularly comes back when we go to the future. This is the same exact room in the Hall of Heroes where you got the reference to Red Death a couple of seasons ago. So maybe there is another reference or a similar reference like that where we're going to get details about an incoming threat that is going to plague Team Flash throughout Season 8. But this is just the same news report that I read off at the start, so nothing big in terms of what they're actually looking at, but they are seemingly looking for something specific because why else would they be there? And in the dialogue in the trailer, Nora says, let's figure out where we messed up and put things back the way that they're supposed to be. So this pretty much confirms straight away, yes, they've messed up the timeline in a big way, and it's something to do with these specific events where they've been hopping back to, and we don't have the answers right now, but we're going to be shown where they've gone and maybe there's a couple references oh we went back to this time and you know when this happened Barry oh yeah I remember that but you know I don't remember exactly how you describe it because now things are starting to set in with the new timeline as was evidence in Armageddon you get a little bit of leeway after the timeline is reset to remember everything so I think what Bart and Nora have specifically done here is going to be a big impact on Barry and Team Flash's future because they are essentially doing their own version of Flashpoint because Barry is unaware of what they're doing. He's unaware that they're time traveling and messing stuff up. Obviously they know that they've been like popping up once in a while, but surely he can read greater into that, into maybe them being a threat because if they wipe everything and change everything in such a huge way, his entire life could be wiped again and that's literally what he just went through in Armageddon so I would definitely be wary about them time traveling all the time. And so then we go back in the past. 
Now, this episode is going to include time travel, as I said many times throughout this video. However, it isn't going to be our main characters that are going to be time traveling, it's just going to be Bart and Nora, and presumably when Barry catches on, Barry's going to come along with them to try and fix stuff. But this version of Joe that you see on the screen is Joe from 2013, or around that time. And we know this because of behind the scenes photos, there were some newspapers from 2013, well, one of the articles that I just read out was from 2013 when Joe got shot in the heist. And maybe this is from that exact same day. Joe is here, he's got his gun out, he is attempting to capture a criminal, it would seem. But maybe this criminal or criminals could be Bart and Nora Allen, who have maybe bumped into one of his crime scenes. As the next shot after is of Bart and Nora who are hiding behind like a street lamp post in what looks like a very similar lighting situation. And they are scared, so you would presume maybe this is Joe pointing a gun at them. And then they go inside, I don't know specifically where it is, looks like it's all dressed with Christmassy lights, that it's in someone's home or a place where Eddie Thorne frequents. Because right here in this shot, we have the return of Eddie Thorne, played by Rick Cosnett, and this is what pretty much confirms, yes, they're in 2013, because you have to remember at the end of season one, Eddie dies, and so he doesn't exist past that point. And later in the trailer, there is reference to Barry getting struck by lightning, which happened in that same year. Obviously, he was in the coma for nine months, but this is where we get Eddie, and it's really exciting to see Rick back, because it's been quite a long time. I think the last time that he showed up was the Into the Speed Force episode, that was a couple of seasons ago, so it's been a while, but it's nice to see him back and he says, who are you two and why are you here? And I'm pretty sure at this point they're going to reveal themselves as you see in this next shot, which is a reverse of that. And you get the Christmas lights in the background and Bart and Nora are in the front and he smiles. So I would presume they're just smiling and they're like, yeah, we're Barry's kids from the future. However, at this point, he probably doesn't know Barry that well. Obviously, he got to know Barry a bit better towards the end of the season. And you can presume at this point, Barry is in his coma. And I'm not sure if we're going to get much of Barry in this episode because of the specific time period that they're mainly going to be jumping back to, which is during 2013 when Barry was in his coma. And somehow this is a place of significance because in the dialogue, Nora says, this is where the change happens. And you can presume it's in 2013 and something has gone wrong there. Maybe it's because they visited it one time and then everything changed. So they had to come back to this specific point in time and maybe they tracked it down similar to how Mia tracked down Reverse Flash in the previous episode. But there is some sort of anomaly, and could it have anything to do with Eddie Thorne? Now, the reason I say Eddie Thorne here is because, as it's been teased, we know that one of the Season 8 villains is going to be extremely personal to Barry and Iris and to their relationship, and who better would that be than to be Eddie Thorne who used to be Iris's girlfriend back in season one, and he died, and there is always the potential that he finds out about his upcoming death, and it completely changes him. So could he be the specific anomaly, and is this what leads him to becoming Cobalt Blue, the main villain of season eight? That is just a theory, I don't know right now. That is just like one thing that came up in my head, and we've been theorizing about it for quite a long time, so with all these timeline changes, why can't someone like Eddie return for good in the future as someone completely different? So let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below. But let's move on to the next bit. So Bart and Nora are here, and I have no idea where here is, but there is some sort of balloon in the background. But they are fully suited up in their excess and impulse suits as they hide from someone, or maybe a villain, or it could be just someone from the past where they're not supposed to be seen. But there is some sort of menace going on in the past, and it has some relation to Barry and him getting struck by lightning. Now we get this shot and it's a flashback shot of Barry as he opens the top windows in his lab. That was shown during Arrow. And just after this, we see Bart Allen inside his lab in 2013. He's wearing the exact same outfit that you saw him wearing outside, and Bart touches the wall as he kind of inspects the place, curious to find out what's actually going on, and Bart says this is where Dad was struck by lightning. So what do you think about the trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for Season 8, Episode 6? I'm really excited. 
I do have some more information in regards to this, which we'll go over right now. So, episode 6, this episode that you just saw in the trailer, which is the mid-season premiere, is going to be called Impulsive Excessive Disorder. Now, you can assume that this title is quite literal in its wording because an impulsive disorder is a real thing, and they've discussed it briefly on the show in regards to Bart being very impulsive, so it seems that they're going to be going into this more, and so if you guys didn't know, an impulsive control disorder is a condition in which a person has trouble controlling emotions or behaviours. Often the behaviours violate the rights of others or conflict with societal norms. So that is the brief description that is found online. And I don't think we can actually theorize much about what it means apart from Impulse actually being in this episode, which we 100% know he is. But we also have another title that has been released. So this is for the episode afterwards, season eight, episode seven. It's titled, very aptly, Lockdown. Now, I would presume it's not the lockdown that we're all used to, but instead some sort of lockdown of the entire city, maybe to lock down some sort of criminal who is on the loose. I don't know what specifically is happening in this episode. There's definitely been some set photos which have been going around, but I don't know what specific photos match to episode seven. So lockdown can mean anything from prisons to actually keeping someone away to putting someone back in their place, I guess. There's so many different things that it could imply. But I would assume if we're continuing with the timeline and time travel theme, we're going to be trying to lock down the timeline and try and keep it and refix it and put it back to normal. So the final thing before we end off this video, we had a recent announcement that a major character is going to be returning that is not Rick Cosnet as Eddie Thorne because we found that out quite a while ago. But in fact, we got the official announcement that Ronnie Raymond is going to be returning to the show. And that is obviously played by Stephen Amell's cousin, Robbie Amell, who played him during the early seasons of The Flash. And so this is a report and it comes from Entertainment Weekly. EW reports that they have exclusively learned that Robbie Amell, who portrayed Ronnie Raymond, one half of Firestorm, is returning to the CW's speedy superhero drama for two episodes. His homecoming will begin in Season 8's 11th episode, though the circumstances of Mel's guest spots are under wraps and locked away in the time vault. Now, what we know about these episodes is very slim, but we know that they're shooting them right now, because Robbie and Mel posted a photo the other day which showed him on the Flash set back in Vancouver, so it's really great to see him around, and it brings up some interesting questions, especially with Eddie returning, and all of these returning faces actually coming into season A, it pretty much confirms that most of the season, or at least the first half of the next chapter of stories, is going to be somewhat related to time travel, because I doubt that Ronnie Raymond is going to suddenly come back alive as Firestorm in the present day, although there is always a chance, because it is The Flash and it is comic book TV, there is basically no rules. However, it's been made pretty clear that Ronnie was dead. He was even referenced last episode by Caitlin, who talked about Ronnie. But the official confirmation is he's going to be appearing for two episodes, so that means he's going to be filming for like three weeks or so. And one can presume that he's going to be teaming up with Team Flash to take down whatever threat that they're going to go after. But the actual circumstances, pretty much nothing has been revealed, as the CW keeps his guest spots under wraps and locked away for the time being. So what do you guys think about this? Are you excited about the rest of season eight? Because I think Armageddon started off the season really well and we have a lot to look forward to, especially in regards to time travel. I know I've said that many times throughout the entire video, but it's true. It's always exciting when there is mystery and when there is no conclusive answers to what is actually going to happen, and I think time travel is an awesome way of introducing that mystery as we literally just saw in Armageddon because Reverse Flash created his own Reverse Flashpoint, changed everything, and you're like, oh, there was something definitely off, and when you get the revelation, it's huge. And now that Bart and Nora are the ones who are creating their own version of Flashpoint, I think they're going to be going back in time, and maybe Barry will tag along at some point, and you'll see these returning characters 
back in the specific time periods that we're going to be visiting or maybe because the timeline has changed so much you're going to see them in the present day because of all the big changes i mean just look at joe joe's back now but joe was dead in this other timeline so it all really depends on how badly has bartonora messed things up but that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment really helps out the channel also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video which was my review slash breakdown of last night's flash episode but thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys later I see red.